Hi YouTube, I'm Ima. I'm a zombie. Today our dad showed us how to check fuses in a car. And now we're gonna show you those ways to check the fuses. So like Alami said, there are many ways to check the fuses in a car. So let's jump right into it. The first one is that many cars will have a fuse puller right here. It's kind of like a pair of tweezers. So when you take the fuse cover off, you're going to see all these fuses. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the fuse puller. You're just gonna grab one of them and pull it out. Doesn't require that much force. And here, Alami. Right. So to check if the fuse is working, if you look really closely and hold it up to the light, you can actually see a piece of wire in there. And since it's connected, that means the fuse is working. But if it were broken, that would mean that the fuse is broken. Both of these cars here have blade type fuses. So there are two types of fuses. There's a blade type and there's a tube type right here. Uh, most newer cars today use blade type. And there are six different sizes of blade type. Um, on the black car, there it's a bigger size. And on the silver car here, we have a smaller size. It's definitely a big contrast. So the purpose of a fuse generally is to prevent current from overloading because if the current gets too high, they can cause damage to the equipment or even cause fire. So if the current would get too high, the fuse would blow, which stops the current from flowing. Both of these cars come with fuse pullers and most cars should come with it, but if you don't have fuse pullers, you can just use flyers instead. And hopefully they shouldn't be many times shouldn't be too bad just don't pull it too hard if you have like a zombie strength they they definitely do come out with a light force not you mr okay. future electronic engineer <laughs> so of course you could use manual and visual inspection but that's really time consuming and taking out the fuse itself you could lose it or forget where it goes and then if you forget where it goes you'll have to print out one of these diagrams and that's just very time consuming so you don't want to have to do that so what he means by uh, that, by using the diagram, is that if you see here, you have 5 slots, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, but you only have one fuse right here. And if you take out one of the fuses and you forget where to put it, it's going to take a lot of time. You know, you got to print out the diagram, like Azami said. It's going to take out a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. But now we're going to show you a foolproof way that will eliminate any room for error and save a lot of time because you don't have to pull every single fuse out. So this method we're going to be showing you is using a multimeter to check the voltage. So I'm going to set this to 20 volts because this battery is 12 volts. And all you have to do is connect this to the ground, which is right here. And then you just t attach the other end to the fuse. And then you will see that the voltage here is 12.82. But you have to check both ends of the fuse because one end might be working and the other might not be working. So I'm going to check this end and then I'm going to check this end. So as you can see, both ends are working. The next uh, method we're going to be showing you is to test the continuity between the two sides of the fuse. So instead of using the voltage, we will be measuring the resistance. And you can either set it to the lowest ohm setting or we use the audible setting, which I like because you can actually hear if it's working. So all you have to do is connect one end to one end of the fuse and the other end to the other end of the fuse. And as you can hear, this fuse is working. Now, the reason we're using this on our older car is because my dad doesn't want to damage his new car. And since this sends a small bit of current, it's a small possibility that it might damage it. So next up is this handy tool that any DIY uh, mechanic should have, and it's this light test. And you can, it's pretty inexpensive. You can get it for around $5 at any auto parts store, or uh, this one was actually around $14 because I had a longer cable. You can actually even make one yourself too. So the way it works is that you hook it up this end to the negative ground. And then you take the cap off of this. Uh, the reason it has a cap is because the end is really pointy. Uh, I don't want to poke a zombie with this, but... <laughs> See, uh, we already tried it before and he, uh, <laughs> he felt it. So, what you want to do is you want to take the sharp end. You want to find the fuses. You want to... These two metal sides, you can put them into either one. So you want to touch the end to it and see if the light turns on. You can't see it. So you can see the light turn on, and if you take it off, it turns off. 
So on each side, it the light turns off. Uh, so let's try it on these ones. And you can see the light turns on for all five of these fuses. Nice. What do you say, Zami? That's pretty good. This tool is very handy, especially when you're working inside the car, because as you can see here, there are a lot of different fuses, and taking them out would probably be a pain. But with this tool, all you have to do is just poke both ends, and you can see that the fuse is working. So this tool actually has a very long cord that allows you to attach it to the negative on the battery, but you can actually attach it to any ground and it will still work. Alright, so next up is my favorite tool, and this is a continuity tester. So this model is called the Power Probe 3. And the way it works is first that we connect the positive side to the battery, then we connect the negative side, red to positive, black to negative. You can see it turns on. And the way it works is, so it's supposed to measure the power, so if you put the prong here, it should have a tone and show power, uh, a number here. So let's try it. So you can hear the noise. It also also flashes red and it shows a number which is 12.7, that's around the, that's the voltage. And if we put it here, it's negative. It has another, a different tone, it's green, and it shows zero. So if we hook, if we uh, put the tip at one of the fuses, let's see what happens. It shows 12, 12.7 and a positive. It's also red. Alright, so the Power Probe 3 here, the continuity tester, might be a bit overkill for this uh, use. And it is. Um, it's $60 compared to these cheap $5 um, light tester and altimeter. And that's because, and it's a really cool function I like about this, is that it can be used for other purposes. So this is really cool. I'm going to show you. So connect this here, and th this has like a switch here so that on the bottom it sends a negative charge and a positive. So you want to press the positive. And look at that. Beautiful, right? And that's what I like about this. It's why, it's why it's my favorite. What do you have to say about it, man? You hear that? Alright, so before we close, I just want to ask one question uh, to Mr. Electrical Engineer Hazami here. So out of the four methods that we tried here, which one was your favorite? So the multimeter is actually very versatile too. It lets you measure voltage, resistance, current, and it's very useful. So I'd say this is my favorite tool here. Of course, that, that's what I predicted. When I saw it, I was like, Hazami's gonna like this one the best. Of course, my dad likes the light tester because it's the cheapest. But nothing, nothing tops the continuity tester. It's the best one here. Uh, no way to beat it. Uh, we're gonna be doing a review on this later, so check out that video. But nothing will ever top this, okay? That's just a glorified multimeter. It, what? it tests continuity, but it doesn't even tell you what the actual current or resistance is. It just tells you that there's actually current. No, I don't need this criticism. I'm leaving. Alright, so my feelings are still hurt, but before we close, I just want to talk about how I know there's a lot of videos, there probably is a lot of videos out there on how to check fuses, but we just want to make this video, you know, uh, entertaining and educational for those around our age and younger. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Any comments? What time readers are the best? Uh, I'm Ima. I'm Izan. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe. Look at other videos on Iron Man. Peace. <laughs> Shutting out. Peace. Come on, it's not me. It's, it's the continuity testing. Ah. Oh, see, see, that that would never happen if a continuity tester is on me.